Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. This is Big Los, and we are outside of Crossroad Keep by the bridges. We've just taken the first bridge, and then we discovered a supply dump. And there was a bunch of vampires, so we let them out and let the sun cook them. So now let's just make our way back up this direction to the second bridge. And off camera, I put on the buffs let once again. The way. You follow behind. Using Quora's Staff of the Magi. Now, I think there is a bug here because I had improved mage armor available and then after I charged the staff back up it's no longer available and I don't know why that is I wasn't able to find an explanation for that problem anywhere I mean I looked online and there was no mention of it so if anybody else is having that problem let me know let's have out it my tears right buttock so we got some guys, we're going to take care of them right now. I was having Quora shoot some fireballs from that Staff of the Magi to conserve some of her spells for later. And I'm going to have these guys back here just do their thing shooting arrows. While we have the Captain and Kelgar engage them in melee combat. Alright, anything else that we can use here? Hmm. Yeah, you know, I had SA resistance and that's gone for some reason. I don't know, maybe is it the types of spells that you cast onto the staff determines on which spells you have available? If so, it didn't mention that in the description of the Staff of the Magi anywhere. Okay, now we're in search mode because... Whoa, a little hiccup there. We're in search mode because there are probably going to be traps up here, so we want to... Yep. There's one, because before Kelgar ran into a trap and it blew him up. I, I mean, it didn't do that much damage to him. He's got, like, over 300. And the DC for recovering is 44, so we're just going to have to disable it. And we still can't do it. Come on, Captain. Can you, uh, roll higher than a 10? That's what yes. we need. Okay. And looks like we've got some more undead up there. So let's use this Staff of the Magi. One of the best well, no. items in what the entire game, I feel. Yeah, let's get out of search mode. It was even in Baldur's Gate 2. If any of you played that, you'll remember that item. It's slightly different, but similar. Well, well. Looks like we have some new targets. Okay, can we get another shot off? I guess we can do like a wall of fire on the archers. That would do some good damage. Yeah, let's pick one of these archers because they're going to stay in one place. Damnation! So while they're standing, it's good to have a wall of fire continuously burning them up. Right, buttock. Meanwhile, well, well. we're going to attack this like gas that's targets. running up on us. I think at this juncture we are not easily susceptible to their stench, which causes ability damage. See? They're just staying in that wall of fire. They're just going to die just standing there. Oh, and when you well, attack well. with the Staff of Magi, it does a level 1 shocking grasp on the enemy that it hits. So, All right. yet another good reason to use it. I could do that. Okay, so we burned up those skeletons. I guess we got to wait for this wall of fire to dissipate. Not much longer to the second bridge. we got to keep going south. Yeah, okay, there we go. Fire burn itself out. Let's continue to make our way. Let's see, no, there's... There's no items and no ore and no key things that I missed. Oh, 
Okay, here's the second bridge. Sus oh, there is the Shadow Priest. I was gonna say suspiciously there's nobody there, but they spawned as soon as we walked up to the foot of the bridge. Master, the Shard Bearer. Ah, the Captain of Crossroad Keep. It has been some time. Hey, you can't call me by my first name. You're not allowed. A tool I may be, but even so, I command more power than the most elite of Farron. Let me show you what I mean. You are a fool to have come here. You may stand atop the battlements now, but know that I have come to reclaim my former home. <laughs> You're not getting in there, buddy. Okay, if you wish to be humiliated twice, I'll happily oblige. Things have changed, Shardbearer. My king will soon tear through the confines of his prison. His power crosses such boundaries and may be granted to vessels of his choosing, like me. Whoa, what did you make him get bigger? Did you, did you give him a Mario mushroom or something? That should be clear to see. It is but a fraction of what my king grants me from afar. Enjoy yourselves here while you can. I look forward to our next meeting. Should you survive. See, yet another mistake by Black Garius. You will die. This shouldn't take long. No time for questions, child. The enemy awaits. Yet another mistake by Black Garius. He should have stuck around to fight us because we have no means of defeating him. I didn't bring Amanjaro nor Javi. So there would be no way to defeat him. But alas, he takes off assuming that these guys are going to beat us. And we know they're going to be wrong. Okay, so... Looks like we got enough for maybe one fireball or one lightning bolt. Let's do the lightning bolt. I kind of like that one, even though it's in a line. Let's see. That should... Yeah, right there. Ought to be good. That should get maybe three of them. Let's, Let's see. I guess you can it. take care of that one right in front. And Kelgar, I guess you could just <laughs> do your thing. Oh yeah, there was a Shadow Priest there. Well, not anymore. Up oh, there goes my archers. Oh, you got three skeletons attacking Tarmin? Can we do something about this? No, all the charges are used up. Maybe we should switch back to the crossbow. Yep, there goes Harmon. Stupid skeletons. Don't you just love Sunburst? Okay, now all we have are these skeletons up on these little cerritos. In case you don't know Spanish, I mean these little hills. Okay, so we got a gem, a fire opal, anything else? That's all we got from that Shadow Priest? I guess Scorching Ray really isn't going to do it. Nothing Academy living cantrip casting sock. How about you just throw a sunburst at all of them? You have enough charges of it. Throw one at that guy. And over there, and this guy right here. Let's do another sunburst. I could do that. Meanwhile, Captain, why don't you run up and start killing some skeletons? I mean, your ACs are real high. It's not like they're going to damage you at all. 
All right. Looks like we've got one skeleton left. Who's going to do it first, Korra or the captain? Looks like the captain. Captain, the bridges have been cleared. You did well. Now let us destroy them while we can. Hell yeah. I want to see some fireworks. Let's blow them up. Your gratitude is welcome, but again, we have little time. I had to come here, and I made the right choice. Father's instinct still has some value, it seems. All right, so let's blow it up now. Let's do it. All that money wasted. All that work we put into it. All right, well, let's just go back to the keep. So who buried Colum? Can't wait to see the looks on the soldiers' faces when we tell them how we sent those shadow lovers barking. <laughs> yeah. That should be good, huh? Captain, I heard that you had just arrived. It is good to see you safe. Yeah, it's good to see you too, I suppose. Yeah, we won. We did it. Despite our victory, we bring unwelcome news. Black Garius was present, and possesses powers that can turn the battle in their favor. Yeah, but he was an idiot and left before the end of the battle. Garius can empower the dead, making them stronger. With that power, even their weakest foot soldiers become a threat to us. Large they may be, but skeleton bones will still break, just as rotting flesh may still be pierced. Touché! Alright. So let's get up inside and... But this talk can wait for later. Come, you must all be hungry. Rest tonight. And we'll discuss today's events on the morrow. You are back! We were beginning to wonder with the sun so low in the sky. You... You are not seriously planning on fighting atop the walls, are you? Did you change your outfit? Nice robe. I can understand. It's just... Well, it's risky. Sometimes I just wonder what's to be gained by you throwing yourself into situations like this again and again. I know the King of Shadows must be stopped, but I don't understand why it always has to be you. Look, come with me up to the castle walls. I want to show you something. Might put things in perspective. I've seen it already. Alright, let's go. Do you see the sky? The way the shadows twine themselves with the clouds, with the wind. That will not last. It will grow stronger in time. The shadow will seep into the winds and into far lands. Not just in the mare. Not just in Neverwinter. Your battle is not simply for this keep, but for Faron itself. For its heart. Yeah, I already know that. This is what you brought me up here to say? I thought that such a task was my duty. Mine alone. But after what happened with the Circle, and seeing how the shadows seeped into them, it reminded me how my strong connection to you kept me from the same fate. You see... I think that in the years that I watched you in West Harbor, maybe I wasn't neglecting the mare at all, but seeing what could save it. If only the Circle would realize it, that perhaps villagers dwelling with the land, that if one of them fought for it, if all of them fought as you did, then something greater could be achieved, and I wanted to thank you. Now, before the battle comes for us again. Thank me? And how do you want to thank me? Also, I fear that I have not always been honest with you. In all matters. I... care for you. Not friendship, but deeper. It runs powerfully within me, and I have tried to fight it for some time. But such things cannot be held silent for long. Yeah, well, I kind of like Quora, but you'll do.
Postponing what? Let's get some sleep together. <laughs> yeah. I have no intention of letting you sleep. Ooh. I think we can come to an agreement. Let us promise to speak no more until the morrow. And we shall enjoy what brief time we have together. Bow chicka bow wow. All right. Uh oh. Hey, uh, what are you doing at the door? You know, Eleni and I were in here just getting it on, don't you? Oh, great. Just at the worst time. Okay, so we got the army of the King of Shadows right at our gates, right where Eleni. Is there something you need? And the captain. We're just about to, you know. I thought we wouldn't have our clothes on, though. Okay. Well, I guess we might have just finished getting it on, because Eleni was wearing a robe, and now she's wearing her armor. Very well, let's go on over to the... Oh, you sealed the basement, huh? Okay, well, let's go over to that round table. We'll go to the War Council. And it looks like everyone's here again, just like the last mission. Yeah, surprise is definitely a sound tactic, asked the Japanese with regard to Pearl Harbor. Yeah, I guess he was able to push them hard because they don't get tired because they're dead. Okay, so we're going to have siege towers coming up to the walls. And we got to take out the siege towers as they're coming. We probably won't be able to take all of them out as they're approaching the walls. But as soon as they're on the walls, we got to take out the places where they're connected. Kind of like in the second Lord of the Rings movie, The Two Towers. Okay, so I'm going to pick the same two party members that I had for the last mission. I'm picking Quora because she could just throw fireballs and ice storms and meteor storms left and right. Plus I'm going to use that Shade's Delayed Blast Fireball that she has. And she'll lead some archers because she's going to stay back and I want the archers to stay back with her. And the next one, of course, is going to be Kelgar. And just like last time, if you pick the first dialogue option with any character, you gain a point of influence with them. And of course, I'm going to have Kelgar lead some Iron Fist fighters with him. You know, what better way to lead yourself to glory than... Leading some of your own kinsmen, huh? Okay, so... We will... See this battle up on top of the walls across our cape. Good thing we had them repaired, huh? Great. And, no, we cannot wait for our Waterdeep allies. They're not coming. Yep. We've got to hold out until dawn when the sun will burn up all their vampires and other undead that can't stand the sun. Okay, so we'll wait here just a moment and we'll tackle this in the next episode. Will we be able to repulse the King of Shadows army? Find out next time. I don't even know. This is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode, and we gotta turn these things back on because I was having frame rate issues again. And, as always, Tango un buen dia. That's Spanish for have a nice day. <laughs>